give me one more week? We gave you one more week last week. Okay, I'll do three nights of shows. Too late for that. Can I get comp for all three nights? We're supposed to have the money deposited by tomorrow morning. I know, but is it going to be a different set list every night? You'll never hear the same song twice. Well, we can't drop him now, Tom. Get the money or drop him. That's what we signed up to do. I understand you're a fan of this man's music, but being yeah, a thug for hire is a results-oriented business. business. There needs to be consistent follow-through. I get it. Word gets out, man. At least give me another hour. We have someone we're supposed to drown in a toilet in 30 minutes. We can be a little late for that. Selling the bar, Steve. We've been through this shock. Oh, him. Hey, up there. Does it matter where the money comes from? Well, technically, no. If Steve signs his share over to me, I'll write you a check right now. If that's the only option, then I order you to drop me. Uh, Tarv, I'd rather... Wait a second. I know somebody. Uh, Whatever they offer, I'll beat it. But I'm not selling to you. I'll sell to anyone but you. Oh, hey, Steve. Hey, Monica. Don't mind me. I'm just in the middle of a business transaction. Oh. Hey, Hank and Tarv. Well, stop by if they don't kill you. Give me a few. Hey, Mr. Steve. I found you a buyer. Oh, yeah? Uh, my cousin in Canada is going to clear your debt. Perfect. I love cousins in Canada. 39% of the bar now his. Welcome aboard. Sorry, Jacques. I hate for you to find out this way. It's a she. And she's taking 51%. <laughs> Canadians to the rescue. Can't wait to meet the new owner, Steve. You know where to find me, fellas. It's not your job to fix people, Hank. Why? Problem solved, crisis averted, money at the nearest Western Union. Hey, you done threatening my life? Oh, yeah. Sorry. Okay, 51%. Who did I just sell my bar to? Her name's Ruby. I always wanted a silent partner. Isn't Ruby the cousin that used to beat you up? Still beats me up. Don't mess it up. Happy? Hey, buddy, you can't park here. Move it along. Oh, ha, ha, ha. Well, everything's in order here. You have yourself a lovely day, sir. Give me all your money. <laughs> Good, you're stuck with the classes. It beat jogging in the snow. This is Skirball. He likes car rides. Don't worry, guys. Everything's going to be all right. I think. Check, check one. Check, check. But for what reason? We're going to be at John Varvato's store next month. No, Magda. One door down. Oh, hi. Saskia. Yeah. You want to talk to Steve? Okay. Who is it? It's the new owner. I'll call her back. He'll have to get back to you. Yeah, sure. What? I don't know. We don't normally do that. Okay. Do you have an opening act? Not unless I can get a proven draw. You know, sometimes there's comedians opening for bands these days. So I've heard. I was thinking, if you wanted to do something different this time, I could maybe do a hilarious comedy routine. You have a hilarious comedy routine. I could. My analyst says my life is a treasury of pathos. I'm sure it is, Blank. How about some other time? So, question. I take orders from the new owner now? It's her bar now. Okay. I can't afford to get fired right now, Steve. She's the only one that can do that. Okay, just so we're clear. Oh, wow. That's weird. Okay, I'm going to sound check Bonnie and Clyde. Here we go. 
Dance for the getaway. Come on, come on. Don't you wanna run away with me? You know we could be Bonnie and Clyde. Hey. The May I help you? Sounds tight, man. Are you the opening band? It's my club. I'm the headliner. Oh. Is this one door down? For now, anyway. Well, I'm DJ Hero, and I'm supposed to play here tonight. Oh, wow, it is real. What's real? What's going on? If this is what you mean by proven draw, you've outdone yourself. Saskia, who is this guy? Eh, college girls like him. Okay, so you're a runaway sensation among the whole aspiring comedian sorority girl crowd, but I don't know you, and this is my stage. My manager said I'm already paid. For a show that doesn't exist. It's all over Facebook and Twitter. I thought you hated Facebook, Steve. You even know what Twitter is? This can only be bad. How are you holding up? All right, I guess. Craig freaked. He couldn't believe I spent all the house money on a bar in New York City. The divorce is final. You got the house. You decide what to do with it. And you? Are you okay since you and Jen... Yeah, I guess. But it still bugs me. I mean, like, today, I was dangling this guy over the East River, deadbeat, you know, three months behind. So I'm holding this guy by the leg over the river, and he's screaming and flailing, and I notice he's got a wedding ring on. And it just got me thinking, you know, this loser, this deadbeat, he had the courage to make a commitment to somebody he loved. And all I could think about was that time I looked Jen in the face and said, you can go. Like, I know what you have to offer, and I don't need that anymore. Did I do the right thing? I don't know. I know people who wear a wedding ring just so they don't get hit on. Maybe that's what this guy was doing. That's not the point. Yeah, I know. But I'm here with you. I thought I was going to be with Craig my whole life. You were with Craig since when? You were 14. 11. I used to write Mrs. Craig Anderson on my papers in fifth grade. Stalker. (laughs) It was mutual. But the divorce, not so much, huh? Not really. He was like, oh, you'll be back. You won't hack it in New York. But that's him talking. He wouldn't hack it. He wouldn't even want to. I want to. I mean, I couldn't even sleep last night. I ended up making a Facebook page and a Twitter feed for this bar, and I haven't even been there yet. Frankly, I couldn't believe they didn't have either one already. Must be some real Luddites running the joint. Oh, not at all. Steve's amazing. I'm just saying that he appears to be completely ignorant of social media. And from what I gather, he's also kind of bad with money. Well, he's a real artist. He doesn't care about money. Someone will have to care about it. You're not dangling me off a roof. Why did you put this ladder in my way? Oh. I walk through here every day, you know, right where this ladder is standing. If you just move it... Hey! Whoa, knock it off! What are you yelling about? Is this some kind of performance art piece? Stop it or I'm calling the cops! What are you doing to the marquee? That's vandalism. That marquee has been blank since February 3rd, 1959. Take it up with a new owner. Bob Dylan's played here four times, and he's never been on the marquee. Well, the times are changing, I guess. Then I'm changing them back. What's it to you? You got something against the DJ heroes of the world? If anyone's going to be put on this marquee, it's going to be me. Ugh. Why would you be up there? Well, for starters, heard of a little band called Magnetic Bones? Oh, yeah. Steve Zorn's band? It was our co-band. We were co-frontmen. Many of the hits were mine. Like... But enough about you. Sounds sort of familiar. Oh, you know it. I licensed it to Pier 1 Imports. But enough about you, let's talk about me. Let's talk about year-end deals. That's how I changed it, for the ad. It's the only version I know. Fine with me. Thanks for the assist. I grew up with VHS tapes of American TV. Vandal. Look, I don't like it any more than you. But I'm just a warm conduit in the engine of commerce. Keep real, home slice. It's a tragedy. My old partner sits in there, broke, and he'd rather besmirch a rock landmark than let his music sell toothpaste to children. Who does he think he is? Even Dylan did an Escalade commercial. Anyway, where were you going? On my way to work. Forget work. Come to dinner. It's my first day. Come on, anywhere you want. 
On me. <laughs> Looks like you have your hands full. Another time. You promise? <laughs> Okay, then. How's this one? How do you get a bass player off your doorstep? How? Pay for the pizza. Let me guess. You're a famous DJ and you're playing here tonight. I just want a drink. Not open yet. But what do you have? What are you drinking? I I don't anymore. This is club soda. Give me whatever you used to have, however you used to have it. Don't know if you'll like it. I'll decide what I like. So what's the story? That'll be 15 bucks. 15 bucks? New to town or just visiting? Just moved here. You don't say. So what's the story with this place? Well, all the big acts that play next door at the Shine come here to play their secret solo shows. And Mondays, we have the best open mic in town. You should check it out. I don't really sing. Come on, you're looking at that stage like it belongs to you. I noticed DJ Hero is playing tonight. I love him. He's awesome. Yeah, where'd you see that? Facebook? Twitter? It's on the marquee. It's on the what? did this? Jacques? No, this isn't like him. If he did it, he'd put his own name up there. Does this mean you're taking it down? Steve, remember when you said that... Oh, ow, ow, Jacques! Ow. I don't understand how you agreed to this, Steve. I didn't agree to it. I don't even know who did it. Don't treat me like an idiot. You guys have teamed up just to annoy me. Me and who? The new owner! You paranoid troll. How could we team up? I haven't even met her yet. Well, Saskia's taking orders from her. She's a new boss. Like you said, Steve. Stay out here and keep an eye on this. I'll be right back. Please step outside for a moment. Why? What's happening? You're not going to want to hear this conversation. Mm-hmm.